Let's take a look at translating between words and algebra and vice versa. This is a really key skill in that the real world is made up of lots of words. It's very rare that you're walking down the street and see X minus 5 just laying on the sidewalk. So it's a really important skill to be able to pick out some key words that suggest particular operations and allow us to know exactly what to do with the numbers that we see. So first of all, let's start by talking about some key words that we might see that suggest particular operations. Let's start with addition. Um, addition, one thing that we might see is, of course, plus, something like that. We might see the word sum. That suggests addition as well. Or you might see a total. It asks for a total. That means we want to add up what we're given. Subtraction, some words that suggest that. We have things like difference minus and less than would all be examples of some key words that suggest subtraction. Multiplication, we have the word product. You might see product. You might see times. And another word that you might see sometimes is of, particularly when we're working with percents it might say 86 percent of a particular number that would suggest multiplication what we would do there okay and then division we have quotient quotient divided by of course and dividing things into equal amounts equal groups um, you might uh, use division in that case okay so Let's dig in here and take a look at some of these problems and see what we can come up with. So for this first group, what I want to do is take the phrase and convert it to an algebraic expression. And this first one says the sum of a number and eight. So what we want to do is take a look at that and see what words are in there that suggest different things. So let's see. Can we find an operation? Well, here's a word, sum. Hmm. What operation does sum suggest? Well, if we look back over here, addition is suggested by the word sum. So we're going to be adding something. Well, what are we going to be adding? It says a number and eight. Okay, a number and eight. Well, a number. Well, how do I represent a number? Oh, I can use a variable. So what I'm going to do is use a variable. Any letter is just fine. We like x a lot of times. So I'm going to say x and 8, and the sum of those things, we're going to add those together, so x plus 8. Okay? How about this next one? 3 less than a number. Now, sometimes we'll fall into this routine of just take it from left to right, whatever's there, that must be it. And in this case, we have 3, and then we've got less than, so an operation is suggested by that, and then a number. Okay? So our first inclination might be to say 3 minus x, 3 minus a number. Well, we need to be careful. And here's a suggestion that you can use if you're not sure how it should be set up. Okay? Rather than a number, let's talk about a specific number. So let's say 10. Okay? So let's reread it, but with 10 in here instead. So 3 less than 10, what would that be? 3 less than 10, well, that would be 7. Well, how did I get that? Oh, 10 minus 3. Okay, 10 minus 3 is 7. Ah, so this number is the 10, and then I'm subtracting 3 from that. So we have, and we can use any variable again, I'll use n this time, minus 3. Okay, 3 less than a number, that would be n minus 3. Okay, how about this one? Product of a number and 7. Okay, let's see what operations and what's going on here. So we have the product, suggesting an operation, a number again, and then 7. Okay, so we've got 7 and a number. Well, product is multiplication, so I'm going to have 7 
times a number, I'll use x again, like that. 7 times x. Remember, when we write them next to each other, that means they're multiplied. All right, let's try this one. 6 more than a number. Well, huh, I'm not quite sure. So let's, again, just use that uh, strategy of putting a number in here. Put a number that you know. How about 4? 6 more than 4. Huh. 6 more than 4 would be 10. How did I get that? Well, 6 more than 4 would be 4 plus 6, which I decided was 10. Okay, so I took a number, in this case 4, and added 6 to get 10. Okay, so now I'm going to replace that 4 with the variable. So I now have x plus 6. 6 more than a number. So here's my number, plus 6 is 6 more. Okay, now let's take a look at a few of them and say how we could say those things that are written there. So down here we have just the good old fashioned x minus 5. That's one way you could say it. Another way we could say it is 5 less than x, or 5 less than a number. That will be an example here. Let's take a look at this one. 4w will be 4 times w, or the product of 4 and w. Okay, over here we have x over 12. Well, that would be x divided by 12, or x, the quotient, excuse me, the quotient of x and 12. Um, and then over here we have the total, we could say, the total of a, a number and 8, or the sum of a number and 8, or the number plus 8, okay, and all those things. So translating between words and algebra, first thing it's important that we understand what operations are suggested by some particular key words. When we've got those figured out, then we can start pulling the pieces out of the phrase or maybe it's a sentence or a word problem and if you're not sure how to set it up put an actual number in for when it says a number then many times it becomes very obvious how we would set it up hope this video was helpful keep working hard on your math I know you can do it